data backup and recovery is critical to business resilience. This is especially true with cyber threats on the rise and ransomware attacks occurring every few seconds. To strengthen their data protection, many large organizations are beginning to use immutable storage, in which you write once, read many, also known as WORM. This prevents deletion or modification of data, whether by malicious acts, equipment failure, or human error. Immutable storage is a complex challenge for which Veritas offers a simple and powerful solution, Net Backup Flex Appliance. In this video, we will show you how easy it is to set up a Net Backup Worm Storage Server instance using the Net Backup Flex Appliance. Before setting up the Worm Storage Server instance, let's review the lockdown mode options. Net Backup Flex Appliance supports three different lockdown modes, Normal, Enterprise, and Compliance. The default mode is Normal, which provides standard, mutable, or changeable storage. The Enterprise mode offers immutable storage, with the flexibility for specific personas to securely override the lockdown using a two-key process. Lastly, the Compliance mode provides immutable storage with the highest restrictions and no override. All of which means that instances can only be deleted if there is no immutable data or it has expired. To create the Worm Storage Server instance, set the Lockdown mode to either Enterprise or Compliance. Until one of these Lockdown modes is selected, the Net Backup Worm Storage Server item will be disabled. To configure the Lockdown mode, go to Settings and select Lockdown mode. Then, click Edit to set the mode. Select Enterprise or Compliance. Select Create Instance from the System Topology page. Once you've set the lockdown mode to Enterprise or Compliance, the Net Backup Worm Storage Server item will be enabled. Select it. On the next screen, you'll complete the details for your configuration, including a unique username, minimum and maximum retention times enforced by the storage system, and the CA certificate fingerprint from a previously deployed Net Backup primary server. When you've completed all the entries, click Create, and you will see the new Worm Storage instance that was just created. The next task is to create a disk pool. Click on Disk Pools. Click Add. Click Change. Choose the Worm Storage server and click Select. Enter a unique name for your disk pool and a description if you like. Click Next, set your volume parameters and complete the setup. Add a storage unit for your Net Backup Worm Storage Server instance. Pick the disk pool that the storage unit will go to. For your backup images to be stored with immutability, you must check the Enable Worm option. Complete your settings and click Save. Congratulations! You have now completed the setup of your Worm Storage Server. To learn more about Veritas Immutable Storage, Open Storage Technology, or Net Backup Flex Appliance, visit veritas.com forward slash protection forward slash flex dash appliance or contact your Veritas representative.